Scott here with Weather Decision Technologies. I'd like to take a few moments and show you the features of Radar Scope TV. The same features we have on our very popular Radar Scope app, and we applied them to the broadcast version, but we added some nice functionality. One, including the ability to use mirroring technology with Apple, so that it's completely wireless. So I'm running this off of my iPad, and it will be projected on a big screen. What goes out to the viewers on this screen here is has none of the navigational controls on it. it you have font control. I'll show you some things here uh, on this particular version where I can go in and I can select fonts um, from giant, large, medium, small. Uh, it has a, a couple of nice functionalities. I'll turn on a radar here so you get kind of the, the flavor thing. This happens to be Hurricane Isaac in, over in New Orleans. And when I take out the motion on it, you'll see all the fonts are much larger on the screen. I uh, still have the functionality to uh, put the radar in motion. You have the choice over here of all the different radar selections that we offer on Radar Scope that you can scroll through. We added a really nice uh, annotation drawing functionality here by grabbing this little pen up here. You can go over and draw and annotate on the map. What's particularly nice about this, this time we've added a social media function where I can go down here and with the touch of a button, I can either capture this image and send it via email, Twitter, or just save it to my photos for user, uh, later use in a blog or such. Uh, turn that off there. You have the same control settings that you would have on all the radar scope, where you can go in and do the different feeds and, and turn on functionalities. One thing we have done that's uh, pretty interesting to this app is we've added the terminal Doppler radars. I'll see if I can find some of those for you here. Uh, they're indicated by a T here on this map right here. And I'm not sure this one in New Orleans is working just now, but when you when you click on those, it gives you the terminal Doppler radars that are available in about 46 stations, I believe, across the country. And we're doing a multi-refresh on those where they're going to refresh uh, like 20, 30 seconds uh, in real time. And so you'll end up with a very fast single site radar right from key sources in the country. Turning back on this radar here, uh, one of the beautiful things about radar scope and why it's so popular is it's very fast. It works extremely well in low connectivity areas, whether you're in a, a, an individual storm or uh, you're just out in a rural part of America where the uh, cellular bandwidth is not that great. Uh, the app's fast, it's functional, and it comes with full broadcast rights, uh, unfettered broadcast rights, so you can go to market with it. Uh, we think we've got a, a pretty, pretty interesting tool here. I'll show some of the different types of radars on here that we can go. We have the new super res that you're seeing on the screen here. Uh, we can go to uh, different tilts of those. I'll scroll up here and show some base reflectivity. Same type of uh, look and feel. I can go back down here. I'll go to uh, base velocity, which is kind of fun to have a hurricane to talk about this. And you can see the, the different wind shear of the, of the hurricane here. We'll, uh, be able to go down and show you storm total rainfall amounts, which uh, has a nice legend at the bottom here. I'll click off of this and show you that uh, we're showing some places in New Orleans here now have uh, eight to eight to ten inches of rain falling down. Uh, Any time you can switch back and forth from these radars, uh, you can talk about it, you can annotate on it, you can change font sizes, you can capture those images uh, and send them out via Twitter, Facebook, and email and uh, we think it's gonna be a very popular tool.